Hey crafty friends, this is Einat Kessler with Saturday Extravaganza. Thank you very much for joining me. Today I'm going to create a mixed media layout with uh, some gesso and stencils and sprays and I'm using 7 Dot Studio paper. This is one side and this is the other side. And I'm going to use this really cool photo of my boy relaxing in the water. So let's start. I'm going to take my Prima stencil, which I really like. Looks like um, peacock uh, feathers or some uh, small hills and it always reminds me of waves. So I'm going to use some modeling paste to create this pattern on my paper. Um, just randomly here and there applying it to my layout. I really like using modeling paste and you'll see it looks really cool. Just put it here and there wherever you feel like it. As much as you want. Take it off really carefully. Voila! It really looks cool you guys. I really like it. Now I didn't even bother to heat set it yet because I'm gonna spray everything with some turquoise and blue and green colors um, of sprays they're kind of shimmery so they're gonna really have a nice effect later and after I'm spraying everything that's when I'm gonna um, dry everything with my heat tool so it's like killing two birds with one stone because drying stuff always takes a long long time so I would rather do everything at once. Makes sense? Does to me. So keep on spraying it until you like the result that you uh, get with your uh, colors there. And now it's time to dry everything really really thoroughly. Make sure it's completely dry before you move on to your next step. So this is how it looks when it's dry. And I'm going to take another Prima stencil that also looks like small waves and some uh, distress ink this is the um, jeans distress ink faded jeans and I'm going to add some more pattern to my background some more color this is kind of a darker shade of blue there adds more dimension to my watercolors and I'm also going to um, apply a little bit of of that same distress ink on my modeling paste pattern just to add a little bit more of a bluey shade just around the paper here and there add more shades of blue Now I'm going to bring in my um, tissue paper, my turquoise tissue paper and cut two pieces out of it. I'm going to add some pattern paper as well. So I'm just cutting some pieces from my tissue paper and I'm using scraps of paper that I have. Um, I don't even remember which companies they are. I think they're Kaiser Craft and um, Prima maybe as well it doesn't really matter I'm just taking uh, pieces of paper that coordinate with my color scheme like turquoise blue light blue green stuff like that so just pick out whatever um, colors of pattern paper that you have this is by Kaiser craft this is a tag this is a pattern paper that has tags on it so I just cut one tag out and I'm just distressing the edges there so basically pick out papers that go well with your color scheme I'm also going to add uh, some cheesecloth for more texture so just cut a piece of that as well really like using this it also reminds me of, of fishnet so 
again coordinating with this with the theme here and um, what else okay so now um, taking another one of Prima's uh, stencil with some gesso and I just want to add some more texture and more color and I'm just gonna use my finger which I think is really fun if you don't like to get dirty then you can use your craft knife and uh, not knife your craft palette or your um, brush or sponge or whatever I just like to use my hands and I'm just adding uh, basically there would be little dots white dots because I'm using gesso and they would kinda look like bubbles going up from the water on the water so just play around with that get your fingers dirty you guys that's the most fun part of creating I think so just add your bubbles wherever you want make sure you clean your stencils really well so take your cheesecloth and just frail it a little bit pull it here and there and you know distress it basically I want it to look like it has been used a lot and I'm just putting it on the paper with some just regular glue just putting it on the paper making little bits of uh, just texture just folding it and wrinkling it a little bit and now I'm gonna wrinkle my tissue paper as well to give it more texture before I'm adding it to my layout and I'm just starting I'm just gonna add all my uh, torn paper pieces onto my layout and that would frame the the photo and I like to ink the edges of the papers so I'm just adding them on as sort of a frame where the photo would go and the torn look just goes well with the theme of you know free spirited relaxing no commitment kind of a feel that this photo has so like no boundaries no sharp right angles just everything flowing and you know that's the vibe that I want to have on this layout so I'm putting glue only on the inside of this the center of the photo so I can tuck things under it later if I need to which I'm gonna do right now tuck this under there and I want to add some more cheesecloth but this one I'm gonna add more color to it I'm not gonna use it white as it is so I'm gonna spray it with some um, more sprays and again blues and turquoise and and greens and all kinds of oceany colors so I'm just spraying that until the cheesecloth which is uh, kind of a fabric not exactly but it absorbs everything and it gets really really wet so before you put it on your layout you have to really really dry it with your heat tool otherwise all this um, watery color is gonna run on your layout and you don't want that so once it's dry it's ready to go on my layout I'm gonna cut it into two pieces and just add it just distress it a little bit the glue is not cooperating today okay now it's out so just add those two pieces I'm just putting them not straight of course just wrinkly and like that on my layout tucking it under there as well 
so I have more color now more dimension more texture on my layout and I'm going to add my title which is going to be relax and I'm going to do that with some uh, letter stickers that are made from bark which I really like and I think really goes well with um, with the theme of this you know ocean beach water pool kind of a layout so relax is going to be the title just adding all my letters there where is my X there it is found it so now that my title is there I can start working on my um, embellishments so I have all kinds of stuff there I have some uh, pieces that I took out from jewelry and I have shells and uh, starfish that I cut out of a pattern paper and some um, beach words that I cut out of another pattern paper which I think is by Can Company and I also have this metal rings here which resemble bubbles so I'm going to color them with some alcohol inks I'm using um, cloudy blue and um, what's that other color there another type of blue which I can't find right now so anyway just add your uh, alcohol ink and that would be you know that goes really well with metal so dry it of course with your heat tool and remember when you dry metal it gets really really hot so be careful when you touch it now I'm adding a little bit of um, glimmer glam which is a glitter paint that has a lot of glitter on it so I really like it so with my brush I'm just after it's dry I'm adding a little bit of glitter paint on the on those bubbles there so they'll be nice and shiny just a little bit and also make sure that's dry so now we are ready to start adding all the embellishments to the layout so I'm just adding them this is a kind of a bead that I took out of a of uh, some old jewelry that I had but you can find nice beads and jewelry parts at craft stores and sometimes they don't cost as much and you don't even need to use them for jewelry just for another project like a layout so adding my starfish and the seashells that you can also get from craft stores and some uh, string as well I'm going to add it there also goes well with the theme of you know boats and ropes and things like that I don't want to put any flowers here so I decided I'm gonna do a uh, flower free layout although you know that I have no problem of embellishing boys layouts with flowers but this time I decided not to so I'm putting all kinds of embellishments but not flowers so now time for my bubbles to go on the layout all those metal rings and circles which are now really blue and shiny and glittery so I'm just adding them and they look like they're going up on the water there and also whenever you use different kind of embellishments then they form layers of texture and color so the more materials they use on a layout the better it would look so don't just use all paper 
play with metal and plastic and whatever. So now I'm taking my brush, but I'm using the end of my brush and I'm gonna just drip little tiny drops from my uh, Glimmer Glam glitter paint. So this is going to be also some more bubbles, smaller and shinier, but still bubbles. Also gives it a nicer look to my layout. Now I want to add uh, some uh, tiny little flags. So I'm just using the same pattern paper scraps that I use for tearing the pieces that we used in the beginning as uh, all those th what we teared from. So these are the same papers and I'm just cutting out small triangles so they would be like a like a flag. Also you can find that on a ship. So I'm just gonna ink the edges of course of all of them and I'm gonna attach them to my layout with some uh, 3D foam tape. I'm li I like using that because it, uh, it just gives it more dimension, more layering. So just stick each little flag onto your layout with some 3D foam tape. And then you have a nice string of triangle flags up there. I think five will be enough, but if you need more, just cut more from your scrap papers. Okay, so now we are done with that. We have our embellishments, we have our titles, and now I'm just going to add some smears of gesso here and there with my fingers. Don't be afraid to get dirty, you guys. It's fun. So just here and there on my flags, on my photo, on the embellishments. Gives it a little bit more dimension and color and, you know, I really like adding gesso like that because... I don't know, I like the look of it. So just add wherever you want with your finger here and there, no planning. Look how great it is. Really like the look of it. So, this is the layout. Hope you liked it. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I had a lot of fun creating it. I hope you had to. So, I'll see you all next week with our Saturday Extravaganza video tutorial. And have a great week, you guys. Bye.